morning everyone today we will come with a very exciting lecture about the 3d okay so this is basically the image trapping technique so here i will going to show you three different software how we are actually doing the image trapping to create a 3d view okay so first i will going to start with arcgis then i will going to show you over the nv and then finally i will going to show you how beautifully you can create without the help of the dem in in arcgis pro the same thing you can do it in arcgis pro okay so that's what we will going to show you okay so that image wrapping technique so first i will going to show you this is the uh, you can say the dem which we have with me and i will going to open the same in this arc arc scene okay so this is the arc scene page okay so i first i will going to open that uh, uh, first is uh, the digital elevation data because arcgis pro uh, arcgis desktop you required a dem then only you can create an image wrapping over that over a satellite image okay the dem you can wrap uh, sorry uh, the satellite image you can wrap over the dem okay so i just open a dem first and see this is the dem okay so if you want to change the color to better understanding you can go and do it like this okay now if you want to convert it in 3d dem okay so first is you just right click on this you can exaggerate the height see the best base height you have to go and you have to select this floating custom surface okay and if you want a little more exaggerations you can use 1.5 and simply uh, click on apply and ok so now you come to the scene property right click scene properties so from here you need to just click on this calculate to the extent and simply click on apply and ok so this is your images how it is looking like now this is a 3d dem so now if you want to do the wrapping over this then you have to add a satellite image of the same area so just see i will going to open one more uh, satellite image uh, from the same area okay so that is i have here in d dive okay not from here so i will better i can add from here so i am having a uh, same satellite data see so this is the mtl.txt file which i am just going to open and see whatever my study area will be there the day will be there that much 3d is only going to convert so that is what arcgis desktop you will see the same thing you will see in nv but in arcgis pro it will take the full scene okay that also without them so that is the advantage so that's why i'm going to show you all this too so that you can understand the powerful uh, how powerful the software and how very how very nicely you can represent the 3d in arcgis pro okay but obviously these two software is very good if you want to use this two that also wonderful so just see here uh, i just need to go same process like property i will click on this floating surface okay in come to symbology if you want to change it in infrared red and green so that it will come like this so you can switch off your background value and then simply click on apply that's all so if you want to switch off this and you can see the 3d of that particular surface okay so this is the process of creating them but the quality of the dam you can see okay and uh, i will show you uh, in other two okay so let's go to the nv so nv also i open the same satellite scene and this is the same digital elevation data we have now in nv uh, you you just need to go to the terrain okay and in the terrain you have this 3d surface view option okay so just double click on this 3d surface view so first is you have to give uh, the multispectral input so i can give it here only you can change the band combination so directly it will take the in that particular band combination okay so i will click click on this here in for it red and green so simply click on okay 
now you have to select uh, this band so select this band option okay the better best basically this is a digital division data so first you select the multispectral and then you have to select the digital division data okay so simply click on okay here you can give this uh, dim resolution here as a 5 or 12 and full resolutions okay and then you can simply click on okay and see how it will be looking like so it is creating a 3d surface view and see so this is the quality of nv of that same area dem okay so now we need to go to the arcgis pro so let's see if i am going to convert this in a 3d dem then how will do so without taking this dem see this i have this dem i have this dem but i am not opening this dem okay i will just remove this dem here from here okay and i will click on this and i will going to convert it in 3d within a just a click okay no need no required for any digital machine data so simply go to the view option okay and you can just need to convert it to the local sim that's all that's all and it will converting the total lst scene landsat scene in in 3d and it is covered the full area it's not required in dem because arcgis pro you have the by default 3d dem along with this okay so you just need to drag and drop like this and see how nicely it will going to create over here and see the quality of the dem and most beautiful thing is it is covering the full area you see this is a full area it's coming if you compare to this so it is also only whatever the dam area will be there and it is also covering whatever the dam area will be there but if you compare with this wow wow it's simply wow this the this is the quality of the this particular 3d so many times i usually show them to everyone how nicely we can do the image wrapping over this arcgis pro and most beautiful thing if you want the base layer like uh, reference layer you want like road and all those things will be there so you can simply come to this base map option and you can select this terrain with level that's all so there is one hybrid layer will added with this and you will get uh, the local informations over uh, this particular plus and you see all the road name okay so even this which one is the tista river all the informations i will get kalingpong is this is the place okay so lot of informations which will be there which will come is very nicely and you see here so this is a that a place and you see the height of the peaks every informations and details are very nicely it will it will give it to you so that is the beauty of arcgis pro okay so i will just uh, tell everyone so try this 3d analysis 3d tool or you can say 3d conversions in arcgis pro and do lot of 3d works i already showed in my video how we can convert and do the analysis in 3d in arcgis pro okay but to giving in the idea in other two software also which we have so that is basically the arcgis desktop so you can understand this is the scene how it is creating in nv this is how it is creating and this is in arcgis pro how it is creating okay so thank you everyone so if you like this video please share with everyone and uh, please give your comments okay thank you thank you all.